Hello Aquarius and welcome to your Money and Career Tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So we are looking at December 2023 to January 2024. So let's see what we have for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Money, Career, Finances only. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. We have Beware. Be prudent, things are not what they seem. Careful who you talk to regarding money or business matters. Don't make any type of financial commitments right now. I mean, sometimes these energies come out, uh, especially around this kind of like Christmas, um, you know, an early January period. So there is, uh, I mean, we talk about a lot of scams, don't we, and everything. So just maybe be aware of that as well. Because um, sometimes I get that kind of card and get that kind of feeling. Uh, yeah we have promotion or promoter if there is a new idea or project manifesting know it has great potential for success careers in the nightlife industry events or restaurant industry could be right for you use the law of attraction for money be the energy you want to attract I'm going to pull you a fortune, co uh, fortune card, see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you. December to January. Angel Spirits Guide. That flew out. <laughs> we have number 11, Flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Now, the flower energy can represent something coming to fruition um, or that sense of something unfolding, blossoming, opening up for you. Let's see what we have for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. I'm going to pull you an Archangel Michael card. Message for Aquarius. Message for Aquarius. Thank you. We have number 19. Make a decision. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you toward your own joy. You deserve it. Those are your initial messages, Aquarius. Let's see what we have for you. Message for Aquarius, please, Angel Spirits Guides, Money, Career, Financial Areas. For December 2023 to January 2024, what do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you. card is out so we have the four of swords the tower seven of swords we have the knight of cups The Magician, we've got the Five of Cups here, the Two of Pentacles, and we have the King of Wands. I'm going to pull an extra card for the Four of Swords. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aquarius. December to January, Money Career Finances. Four of Swords, thank you. In Aquarius mode, uh, the King of Swords is Aquarius for me as a reader in the Minor Arcana, male or female. I'm 
I'm going to pull one more card with the King of Swords and Four of Swords. Okay, I get you. Okay, I've got the Nine of Cups there as well. I mean, this feels like... Um, It feels here, Aquarius, like you are pursuing something secretly. Uh, there is a, a kind of feeling here with the uh, Seven of Swords. You're taking secret steps, and it could well be to pursue other options. The Two of Pentacles can be that sense of... Um, not wanting to move from one job until you've got another one lined up and you're in the process of making that happen. This can be that kind of energy. Because the Five of Cups here can represent uh, the potential of loss. Loss, uh, it might well be there is a tower happening here. Towers can represent change, uh, where, again, the old can be torn down in some way. They can be an event that happens. In business career finances, it can represent um, endings, uh, a shake-up of some kind, could be in management, could be mergers, acquisitions, could be company going into administration. I mean, you understand uh, even, you know, things that happened with COVID that affected people's money, career finances. That was a huge tower for the world. So this is the energy here of, of this is about uh, something is shaken up here, December to January. But I feel... I feel something is making you take in, take action because you're fearing, you're either fearing loss or again, it might well be, uh, there could be, again, restructuring, redundancies, I mean, call it what you will. So whatever this scenario is, Spirit is telling you, whatever this tower is, you're in the perfect space, you're in that perfect position to manifest something though. It doesn't stop in terms of this ending, this ending almost like is happening so that you can manifest the route that you need to be down. And that's what you're really being told here. It's about working your magic. Sometimes with the Five of Cups, we can also be sad to leave. You know, we can also be sad to give up uh, something, you know. Um, it could also be that you've had some kind of uh, whatever the experience is, you know, with this tower moment. Tower moments don't always, you know, it could well be the experience hasn't been good and now there's the potential of things being shaken up. So you decide to manifest something else or there's the opportunity to. I mean, with the magician, we have to take action. We have to work our magic here. This is that beware energy because I feel you, you sense change is happening or change has happened whichever life stage you're at and you feel the need to take action and manifest something here i think that you're doing it secretly this is either down to some kind of uh loss sometimes we have to work notice periods as well so again whatever life stage that you're at here sometimes with the five of cups we can be sad to leave we can you know not really want to leave but we know we have to you know it's got that kind of bittersweet energy as well but you're being told all is not lost in this situation. It's about moving on from what was to what will be. And that's where you're in the process of, of making those changes here. And that's what I'm seeing for you. Because the Knight of Cups can be somebody who uh, might offer you support, guidance. Uh, Knight of Cups can, can be somebody in your life that offers you emotional support, guidance, uh, help, uh, while you're going through these changes, even financial. Uh, it's generally, it can be somebody who you're close to, male or female, who can offer you support or be nudging you. I mean, this person can, will, can say, no, it's time, for, it's time for change, keep on doing it. It might well be somebody supporting you as you make the changes that you need to make. 
someone might be saying to you, you need to leave that place. You need to go and find something else. And again, this might be spurring you on in some way. So there is some kind of, it's adapting to your situation here in a very positive and constructive way with the Two of Pentacles. Um, because you know that change needs to happen in response to whatever change that you're feeling or sensing. You know it's time to manifest here. Because there is an opportunity to turn a situation to your advantage. You have that sense of opportunity around you to turn something to your advantage. You know? This is about seeing opportunity in change and recognizing your own position to manifest something positive, maybe out of a, a difficult situation. And that's the energy here, really turn something to your advantage here. It could also be a uh, Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. Somebody could be introducing you or recommending you or putting you forward to somebody. Because it's driven by uh, somebody who you have a bond with. That could be a friend, that could be a family member, that could be, again, your work network, people who you bond really closely with. This can be that kind of scenario here. It might well be somebody is putting you... For, yeah, I'm getting that energy for some of you of someone you'll put forward. Somebody's recommending you or putting you forward or putting a good word in with somebody. I feel this is the energy here because this King of Wands is, is somebody who is generally quite a, a charismatic leader, very go-getting, driven, exciting, confident, um, doesn't really rest on their laurels, it's high energy, uh, so quite a pioneering, go-getting, driven, forward-thinking, this will be the King of Wands energy, uh, can be a natural leader in business, so they can hold actually the Wand of Opportunity as well here, Aquarius too. I feel somebody is putting you forward or putting a word in or recommending you and it's driven to support you in some way. I'm feeling these energies are very, very connected to a financial aspect. The Four of Swords, it just feels, you know, the energy that I got here when um, that this card came out, it was just like that sense of a huge sigh of relief. Uh, oh, finally, I can take my foot off the pedal. I can take my foot off the accelerator because with the King of Swords energy being Aquarian energy, yes, you have been very clear. Uh, the, the King of Swords is somebody who's very clear, forward thinking, understands what needs to be done. Uh, this is applying your mental acuity to really see the situation for what it is and understand how you need to respond to it. Put some kind of plan into action here. And you're doing it very, very well. But if it, it feels like by doing that, the plan comes to fruition. I mean, this de there's definitely an energy here of, oh, thank goodness. Oh, finally, I can just take it and step my foot off the accelerator. I can finally just breathe that sense of relief, you know, because I've got to where I want to be. And this is the energy here. The... The Four of Swords might also indicate here, Aquarius, that before you start something new, you might want to take a little break uh, because it just feels like it's been an exhausting, difficult time. I mean, change isn't easy, is it? You know, certainly these energies are not easy. Um, but it leads to something really lovely. The Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Knight of Wands can represent something new coming in with the king of wands being here this can be i would imagine this person is offering you opportunity the knight of wands is very good in terms of uh, offers and opportunities that bring change and really exciting change so you're getting your wish i mean the knight of wands and the nine of cups is someone is is offering you uh, opportunity here can be very good in terms of business enterprise career initiatives projects uh, but it's something that really is is getting you all kind of like fired up, uh, you'd be very excited. Uh, this is, this is, you'd be really uh, embracing that kind of energy of the Knight of Wands as well. And with the Nine of Cups, you're getting your wish. I mean, the Knight, that Nine of Cups is a great energy of uh, success, achievement, fulfillment, reasons to celebrate. Um, yeah, it's just such a lovely energy of getting what you want. And it just feels like, oh, thank goodness. And there is that kind of feeling here, Aquarius. I am out of here, you know. Whatever this change is happening for you, 
it's like you're taking you're ready to take the reins you're ready to grab that opportunity and say I am out of here because I feel this is about making clear decisions in truth for you and the king of swords somebody who sees the truth of, of what this change means for you and understands it's time to take action to manifest something new and there is I think this is that beware energy because you're understanding you're really seeing things for what they are there are no rose tinted glasses here king of swords sees things for what they are they get it you know he gets it you know he he sees the reality of the situation for what it is and that's very empowering for you because like i said there is opportunity and change for you it's about taking action and understanding how you can turn something to your advantage this month and i definitely see that you doing that and it all really does certainly in the next couple of months and very very well for you nine of cups is is getting your wish that a flower energy is something, like I said, opening up for you, abundance, coming to fruition, because you're promoting yourself, taking secret steps to promote yourself, either dealing with some kind of loss on some level or the potential of it, and or like notice periods. And for those of you, it might well be, I'm sad to leave, but I know I need to do this. Either way, you are making the change happen and that's a very, very positive thing. Responding and being flexible, adapting to your situation. I feel somebody might be putting a good word in for you with somebody, this King of Wands. Uh, I feel whoever this Knight of Cups represents, I think that they are either, um, yeah, telling you about it, putting a good word in. I, I just feel that kind of energy. It feels very, very connected. So do make use of your, uh, you know, we have business communities, your uh, connections, however that manifests for you. A lot of it's online these days, isn't it? This is promote yourself and it can be within your community too, um, your, net, your business community. But obviously in a beware would be again, just quietly, quietly, you know, discreetly. Okay, what do we have as an affirmation? Final affirmation for Aquarius. Money, career, finances for December to January. Two cards. Oh, three cards. Okay, we have never regret anything that made you smile. Whatever this regret is, you're being told don't regret. It's time to take action, embrace change. Nothing will work unless you do. And we have one day or day one, you decide, and that's the energy, that's the magician energy. That's what I have for you, Aquarius, for the next couple of months. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful next couple of months. I will see you next time.